I'm back, you guys, from getting food. This is what I picked up. I hope you can see me. I feel like you can't. I got to eat. It's now 12.20. What I got is, of course, another water. Because I'll definitely finish this one before the day is over. And my worst nightmare is being caught asleep or being in bed and not having water if I wake up in the middle of the night, which I do. Okay, and then I got, you guessed it, another water food. I told you guys here in Istanbul, everything, all the food is like Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Kazakhstan food, Turkish food. Uzbekistan has like a billion different types of breads that they eat with everything. And they're all very beautiful. Like literally, they put a lot of time and effort into the bread art. Okay, hold on. Since I don't know exactly what I'm eating, I always just make sure I ask for chicken. I'm like, what do you have that's good and that involves chicken? I'm not super picky, but I don't eat like red meat. And I don't want anything super meaty. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but I love... <gasps> This looks so good! Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, I have to take a picture. <gasps> and it smells delicious for chicken, and they gave me chicken with potatoes underneath. For like, Uzbekistan style french fries. Potatoes. Two dipping sauces, and then pickled veggies. I asked them for salad and they ignored me, so whatever. They didn't ignore me, they just probably forgot. But I also ordered a side salad and I don't have one, but whatever. And I'm gonna take my vitamins, take them with my first meal. I take vitamin D3, C100, B12, like acid, iron, vitamin E, and magnesium. So I take the first four vitamins with my first meal, so. I'm going to take them now. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I always check off once I've done something. I always write my priorities um, for the day. And then when I've done it, I check it off. Loving. Okay, hold on. I'll talk about that in a second. Oh, and I also have to send my video for approval. I have a sponsored video that I just posted. So I just finished that video. And students. So I've been making, for my students, I've been making a, uh, what's it called? A. this week's lesson plan so I have to finish the lesson plan for this week uh, and then send it off to my students so I want to talk about that as well uh, if you don't know I have Mary Jane's Travel Academy and I love it so much it's very fulfilling like a lot of my job every the whole day the world the day revolves around me. My emails revolve around me. Hey MJ, can we work with you for this? Hey MJ, you want to stay in this hotel? What hotel am I going to go in? What video am I going to film? Everything revolves around me. My videos are me. I have to look at myself all the time editing videos and uh, about what I'm going to talk about and my DMs and you know, being a social media person, it's a very self-centered job. And I'm not gonna lie, it's it tiring. I mean, every job has pros and cons, but it gets a little tiring, everything being about me all the time. So it's so nice to put focus on other people. It's been so like, I don't wanna say relaxing, but it's been so like therapeutic is the word for me to like put my focus on other people and like learn about other people and engage with other people. It's not something I get to do often um, or too much. Uh, so yeah, I have Mary Jane's Travel Academy. If you haven't heard, 
it's now permanent so if you sign up it's not six weeks it's now forever so if you sign up once you're signed up forever you will forever be one of my Mary Jane's Travel Academy students and the reason I did that is because it's impossible to become a content creator a traveler uh, to do these things that I'm trying to teach you guys to do and how to do in six weeks it's just impossible it's impossible so um, I thought it'd be really cool to have and make it I thought it'd be really cool to make the course ongoing and it's actually not hard for me to do it because what I'm essentially doing is coming up with kind of like a lesson plan for each week so whatever week you jump in so say you sign up for the course whatever week you join the course you will just jump into that week's lesson if that makes sense like it's an ongoing weekly learning thing so every week i'm talking about something completely different and uh whatever week you sign up you'll just jump in no if you sign up i'll start you the following week and then you'll just jump into that week's lesson that i'm talking to my students about so yeah, it's actually not hard for me to keep it going and uh, I have all my students written down in my iPad. You guys each have your own little section in my planner and it brings the things I know back in front of my face and it's like re-telling me to practice what I preach and to, you know. I was talking to my students the other day about uh, how you can literally wire your brain to do anything you want in life and I was literally breaking it down okay there we go yeah so this email I'm gonna send out to my students I was finalizing it last night habit I want to pick up um, I've basically picked it up at this point but say any hard habit you want to pick up um, you have to rewire it in your brain so for example say you have to exercise instead of saying I need to go run in the morning say it's time to build endurance and get fast instead of saying I have to save money say I'm going to increase my future means the money I save this month increases my purchasing power in the next month. Um, so with anything you really want to, with any hard habit that you think you have and you want to like focus and do it instead of procrastinate, you just have to rewire how you see it in your head. I see working as like easy to slip into. I rather say like I'm literally making my future better right now actively i'm making my future better and that inspires me 
so much so and then the, the deep work does not feel uh you know like it's not hard to not to just focus and work typing everything out that i want to talk about with my students and let's get this done let's see My diagram to, I just airdropped it to my laptop so that I can put it in the email here. I just did it. So I, it's pretty cool. I actually drew this brain. Um, so I wanted to talk about. how your brain you can literally trick it to do and to be anything you want to be in life um, and how your surroundings and everything kind of form and shape who you are what you think so you can get it to do whatever you want really um, so anyways I just drew that here on my iPad and then here is the one I I wanted that plane and then I'm going to send ooh, I'm going to send the one that I've written all over airdrop it to my laptop and then put it into the email I'm sending my students today some more stuff to touch on I also I'm gonna um, lesson about the right and wrong way to look I just drew these earths and I need to upload them to this email the next email actually because I'm talking about how everyone sees the world and how I see the world and how you should see the world if you want to be a traveler to make it really really simple and Everyone's got it wrong. Everyone's got the planet wrong, in my opinion. And after traveling 112 countries, I'm teaching how is the correct way to look at the world. <laughs> Planning at about six o'clock. And uh, I finished, well, I'm about to finish 1.5 liters. So I drink two liters and then I'm gonna Start on this one. Okay, um, I'm still working. I honestly will probably be working until about two o'clock in the morning. That's how a typical day goes for me. I'll, um, I'll usually work until 2 a.m. But I always allocate myself to do deep work for five hours. And that really, really, really helps me. And it's kind of changed my life, honestly. And it's gotten rid of procrast procrastination because I'm a huge procrastinator but what the deep work the five hours of deep work thing how it helps is after I do my five hours of deep work deep work I'll kind of split up the rest of the working I do throughout the day I'll take breaks I'll do other things um, I'm not like hardcore focused working for five hours like I do with the five hour deep work role that I've been doing recently um, that works in anything it's super helpful but um so i'm making my lesson plans for this week for my students i already wrote out like the outline for what i'm going to talk about on friday it's how uh talent is useless it's not useless talent is awesome but hard work is like 
way better than talent. It beats talent every time when talent doesn't work hard. Talent, it's not everything. Hard work is the key right there. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. And then I'm talking about how motivation is pointless and discipline is everything. Again, discipline beats hard work. Discipline beats motivation a million times over. Motivation, you don't need it. Discipline, you do. Um, I'd way rather be disciplined than motivated. I'm usually not motivated with the things that I have to or should do, but discipline is the, is the key. If you can master discipline in your life, you can do anything you want, but you can't always, you can't always count on being motivated it, it's meaningless. It, it shouldn't be a factor. Discipline. So that's what I'm talking about. And then I'm planning my video this weekend. I'm going to go to Cappadocia, you know, in Turkey with the hot air balloons. Yeah, I'm going there this weekend. I'm so excited. I've been there before. It was years ago, um, like four years ago. And I'm going there this weekend because I'm going to film a video for my students. It's not going to go on my channel. Maybe a vlog will go on my channel, I don't know. But I'm going there to teach my students how to film a cinematic video. How to put together a cinematic video from start to finish. So I'm planning that video right now. Um, it will be a exclusive to my MCA students, Mary Jane's Travel Academy. So yeah, I want to teach them how to... I'm going to teach my students how to film a cin cinematic video start to finish. And then I'm going to teach them how to take uh amazing travel instagram photos uh vi in video so i'll be see this weekend so i was planning that what else am i planning uh and oh yeah i'm making a list now that's another thing i have to do of all the songs i use in my videos a list of every song i've ever used in my youtube videos and how i found them and uh i'm sending the links to my students and then i'm gonna go do my skincare get a shower um, i've been getting a lot of requests for an updated skincare routine so i decided to do one and i'm really happy with my hair it has been growing shiny and soft yeah, I'm going to talk about hair. So, I'm in Turkey right now. And last time I was in Turkey, years ago. So, what, four years ago I was in Turkey? Pandemic was two years. One year. Like, four years ago was the last time I was in Turkey. And when I was here last time, I got the some of the best hair products I've ever used. So, as soon as I got here, I went and searched for them again. And this is one thing that I used before that I love. The bad thing is it's only in Turkey. I mean, if you're in Turkey, I think it's only in Turkey. If you're in Turkey, then you are in luck. If not, I will link something below on Amazon. That's it. Again, I will link everything I'm talking about down below. But uh, it is in English. It would translate to raspberry hair tonic. So basically, my scalp had been itchy recently, and I was looking for this, and I, I was so happy to have found it because this is like vinegar for your hair. It's raspberry vinegar. It smells so good, by the way. I love the smell. Mmm, it just smells of raspberries, like true raspberry scent, and it's raspberry vinegar, and it just says like, I don't know Turkish but I did ask them to translate and it basically just says like um it's packed full of vitamin B5 which is in raspberries and uh, the vinegar like helps balance the pH in your anyways all I know is after before I wash my hair I soak this stuff on my scalp soak I've been using recently and <sighs> the results I mean I just used it I literally just finished doing my hair and look at the shine if you could feel my hair it's baby soft 
Anyways, it's a hair tonic. You put it on your scalp. You put it on your hair. You massage your head. You massage your scalp. You also put on the length of your hair. It's a strengthening. It's packed full of B5, vitamin B5, so it strengthens your hair. It makes it stronger. It makes it uh, healthier, shinier. It detoxes your hair and your scalp. So anyways, product of turkey. So yeah, I put that all over my hair. And then, after I do that, I shampoo my hair. The Olaplex shampoo. If I don't use this shampoo, I use the Briogeo shampoo. I love the Briogeo one. The yellow one, I don't have it on me right now, but I hope to find it. I'm going to go looking for it tomorrow. I think they have it here in Turkey at Sephora. So, um, if I don't use that one, but I use either this one or I use the Briogeo uh, shampoo. And then I put conditioner in my hair. I'll link, I'll put a picture here of the conditioner I use and I'll link it down below. My hair loves that conditioner. I actually made a mistake for a few years. I would only use masks because I thought a mask was like a better conditioner. No. You're sp still supposed to condition your hair. Don't skip the conditioning step. You're supposed to condition, wash, condition, and then mask. Where I, for years, had been stopped. I stopped using conditioner. I was just masking all the time. And uh, no, you're supposed to condition your hair. And then mask. That's not a step. A mask doesn't replace the conditioner. So anyways, I'll link below the conditioner I use. I don't know if it's in America. Honestly, I hope it is. Um, but I know it's in Europe. My hair loves that stuff. It's so cheap as well. And then I'll do the Olaplex number 8. Um, or the Olaplex number 3. Then I wash that out. I usually leave it in overnight. And then I wash that out. And before I straighten, before I blow dry my hair... I use the Jisoo, I hear everybody say this differently, Jisoo, Gisoa, whatever, leave-in conditioner. I put this in my hair, I put uh, the Jisoo heat protectant, I drench my hair in the heat protectant from Jisoo or whatever, however you say it, and then I straighten it. And I use the, uh, my new, I'll show you my straightener, the GHD Gold. I love the straightener. It doesn't have any temperatures. I love it because it's just an on button. That's it. It will sense. There's two sensors. I think there's one on each side. A sensor here and a sensor here. And basically, when you start using the straightener, there's no temperature. It just will sense your hair and how much heat is needed on that hair section, if that makes sense. One pass, and that's my hair routine. Oh, and of course... Olaplex number seven, yeah. It's really concentrated, so you don't need a lot. That's why the bo bottle's so tiny. Look at that shine. Look at that shine! Look at that shine! And he's just like, oh my god, Mary Jane, your hair is so beautiful. It looks like glass. Black glass. Black silk. Uh, okay, is that? No, I'm looking for my face wash. Oh, here it is. I've changed it a little bit. Um, now, I only want to do moisturizing stuff because, like, it's just the conclusion I've come to that hair, uh, skin and hair just needs to be moisturized. That's it. For health, I think that you can negate a lot of issues with your hair and your skin if you just moisturized it. And that's it. So, I took a lot of stripping stuff out of my skincare routine. I don't have dry skin, I don't have oily skin, I have combination, so my hair, my, fa my face is very normal, it doesn't get really oily or really dry, it's kind of in between. I do get oily here though, every time I film a video, I hear so many YouTubers say this, it's like you get out of breath, I don't know if it's like nervousness or what, but it's just like when you start talking, when you're filming a video, you just get out of breath, I don't know what it is. Anyways. So, I use the Squalene Cleanser. I'm only into super hydrating cleansers these days. That's it. The only cleanser I want to use is a super, super hydrating one. I don't like any cleansers that suds or foam. I don't want any of that because it, there's an ingredient that has to go in cleansers. 
to make them foam and suds and do all that stuff and like that ingredient they put in there is like it strips your skin which I don't like so now I'm going to tone my face I use the glycolic acid toner fan favorite people love this stuff I also love it I usually put it on a cotton round and I've just realized that I'm out so I'm gonna put it on my uh, towel hotel towel but I'm just gonna pat really lightly so I don't suggest you use towels on your face um, I don't usually use a towel I'm just doing it right now because I've just realized that on my forehead oh no my light just, just toned my face with the glycolic acid toner next I'll go in with lactic acid I love lactic acid so much I use one from the ordinary lactic acid in the 10% you can also buy it in 5% but I like the 10% and it's mixed with hyaluronic acid I love this so much because have you ever seen anyone put yogurt on their face like a yogurt mask well the idea is that yogurt is full of lactic acid and that's why they're doing it so the ordinary just said listen you don't have to put the yogurt on your face we'll just put the uh, pure la lactic acid in a bottle for you lactic acid increases uh, cell turnover so that's why it's so good for your face and it's also super hydrating which I love like I said I only like things now that are hydrating because I'm convinced that at least for me a lot of issues are whether you're too oily too dry I mean a lot I know everyone has different skin different skin issues but the skin should be moisturized okay next I put on hyaluronic acid I love the one from the ordinary because it has high molecular weight and low molecular weight okay hyaluronic acid on love that you know what tonight okay so some nights I'll put on the drunk elephant can you see it Marula butter. This is amazing. It's called Marula butter meadow foam oil. I don't know what meadow foam is, but this oil is amazing. It has, I'm looking for ingredients. I don't see them, but it was on the box. It has like a billion different types of oils in here, but the main oil would be Marula, which is like amazing. This can be for your body or your face. It's super hydrating. Okay, so I don't use it all the time. But if I don't use that, I use Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Gel Exfoliant. Exfoliant gel um, with salicylic acid. So I just do like three pumps. And I only use this at nighttime. Not putting it on now because uh, it's nighttime. Last, I love this lip mask so much. I'm gonna be a little bit, where is it? Honest and say that I got it because <laughs> like my man, where did we go? So, hold on, what the crap? I can't find it. Where's my lip mask? I wore this once and my man loved it. <laughs> um, found it. Okay, here we go. It's still a Neige. Okay, this is like the most popular lip mask in the world. 
but I got the chocolate one. There's chocolate and vanilla. Cho they're both amazing, but this is one my man flipped over. He loved it so much. So now I buy it all the time. <laughs> but it's the Laneige sleeping mask, sleeping lip mask. When I tell you this smells, it almost, it's like, is this chocolate when you're smelling it? Oh my gosh. No, you're literally going to be like, is this chocolate? There's no way this cannot be chocolate. It smells exactly like chocolate. Yeah, it's called the Sleeping Mask Chocolate. There's all different flavors. Scents, I should say. But, oh my goodness. You could just sit. When I first bought this, I just smelled it like... It just smells like chocolate. Oh my word, it's so good. Ooh. Anyways. My man loved this. Loved it. You will smell like chocolate. Okay. Um, you'll also wake up with baby soft lips. But, yeah. It smells like chocolate so much that you're literally like... Am I tripping? Or is this chocolate? Tinted like maybe a brown. It's like a chocolate color. You'll let, wake up with baby soft lips, but if you got a man, <clears throat> and he likes chocolate, <laughs> it may, it's it's actually not a good idea because now I want chocolate. It doesn't matter because I'm in Turkey right now, and uh, I don't see any chocolate anywhere. There, everything's baklava and Turkish delight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's probably chocolate somewhere, but. Anyways, I love baklava. Not saying I don't. So that's my skincare, hair care. Tell me my skin is not glowing. 